Hi guys, so in today's video we are going to be looking at really cheap and really easy plant-based dinners that you can make. Of course, you can do your own twist on these, you can make them vegetarian, you can make them vegan, you can make them meat-based, whatever you like. But in my opinion, these are great just the way they are. The way that I've tried to make these is basically be quite simple to make, tasty obviously, and also the ingredients be relatively cheap so that you can make them on a budget as well. I've tried to stray away from the really boring, really cheap stuff because everyone already knows about stuff like that, you know? You know that you can just have a jacket potato with beans, like, you know, you know that you can have rice and beans, you know that you can have a stir fry. So all of those kinds of things are not included here. And yeah, hopefully you will enjoy the video and the meals if you decide to make them. Now I am gonna sort of skip through them because it is gonna be five different dinner ideas. So I will link down below to a blog post where I will write out all of the ingredients and the method and stuff like that. So if you are interested in making any of them, then check out the blog post down below. And that's also a sneaky way of telling you that I have a blog now. But the final thing to mention before we get into the recipes is that I am teaming up with the lovely Rachel again to give you this video and I'm doing dinners and she is doing breakfast ideas. So if you are interested in that, then go check out her channel once you've watched this. So the first thing we're going to do is this gorgeous chickpea pasta. Looks like a bit of a mess, but I promise it's really nice. What you need is spinach, some chili flakes, some garlic and some fresh rosemary, some lemon zest, some chickpeas, and optionally some vegan yeast flakes to top it with. It's a really easy recipe. You can see here, I'm just adding some garlic to some olive oil, then the rosemary and the rest of the crushed things. Um, like I said, the recipes will be properly down below. Once it's all heated up, you just add the chickpeas and keep frying until essentially they are nice and tender and add quite a bit of salt and pepper because obviously chickpeas are quite bland. Add in the spinach and keep going until it's wilted and there you go. It's that easy and it's super, super yummy. Um, you serve it over spaghetti um, or any pasta really that you want and optionally cover it with yeast flakes as you know that everything is made better by vegan yeast flakes. The next one doesn't look as appetizing but I promise you it tastes amazing. So you're gonna need split red lentils, some ginger, chickpeas, garlic, onion, potatoes and some canned tomatoes and cumin and paprika. So you're going to fry the onion with quite a bit of pepper and once it's nice and brown, you're basically going to add your garlic and your ginger and then all the spices. So it turns nice and brown like that. Then add water or stock and the potatoes and the lentils and the chickpeas all in varying stages so all the timings and stuff will be on the blog post and then you get this really nice hearty stew and honestly it was so warming I made it twice. So now my absolute favourite of the bunch and probably the simplest one to make as well and I think potentially the cheapest. So this is a super creamy leek and broccoli pasta. So what you're going to want to do is chop up the leek into small bits, so only the green bits, and then add it to some melted butter and simmer on low heat until it all gets nice and soft and then add the pre-cooked broccoli and that's pretty much it. And then just add your pasta and look at what you get. It is absolutely delicious. So this is another really simple one. It's a butternut squash and spinach pasta with basically a cheese of your choice. So this can be a vegan cheese or feta or anything like that. And you're basically gonna want the butternut squash roasted and then on a frying pan, add all these garlic and rosemary ingredients. Again, everything's in the blog post in detail. 
and then you just add the spinach in until it's wilted add in the butternut squash and that's pretty much it and then serve with pasta and the cheese that you've chosen so a vegan feta or a feta works best finally we have these vegan pumpkin gnocchi so this is probably the more difficult recipe um, so it will all be detailed um, in the blog post but it is absolutely delicious um, you can see here all the stages just so you can see what it needs to look like when you're reading the recipe but essentially it is just a few ingredients it's potatoes and pumpkin puree and i think flour and that is literally it that is all you're adding here with some butter or vegan flakes or spinach um, and garlic to serve with and that is it That's it, hopefully you've been inspired by at least one of these meals and you will give it a go. Trust me, they are absolutely delicious. So let me know if you try any of them and what you think and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.